my name is Klaus Bergqvist. Uh, I'm coming from Sweden. I used to introduce myself as a um, dyslectic copywriter. <laughs> I've been in the business for 40 years, mostly in Sweden. I'm going to show um, the man who has meant most for advertising during the last 100 years. It's not only my opinion that he's the best. Uh, advertising Age, the most prestigious advertising uh, newspaper, uh, ranked Crone in 99 when they looked back at the last hundred years as the most important art director, and uh, I certainly think they were right. In the 50s, after the Second World War, uh, consumerism started to boom in, in the United States. It was a fantastic decade. But advertising-wise, it also became the most important period during the last hundred years. The creative, took, uh, creative revolution took place. Uh, that meant that Bill Burnback, the godfather of advertising, opened his agency and said that advertising is not science, advertising is an art. And therefore, a totally new type of advertising appeared in the 60s. That's why it's so interesting. The series is uh, extremely well uh, researched. Uh, the, the actors are doing an excellent job. And the, the script is fantastic, I think. Combined with the advertising booming period, uh, it's, uh, it's a fascinating uh, combination of these factors. Mr. Campbell, who cares? What? Who cares? Mr. Cooper, he's a fraud and a liar. A criminal, even. Even if this were true, who cares? The agency starting Cooper, I would say, should be a mid-size uh, businessman's agency, uh, which was very, very typical for the time. Uh, as compared to the true creative agencies, uh, which uh, had many more creative people and uh, it's different to Sterling Cooper, but uh, the majority of agencies would be like Sterling Cooper uh, in the 60s. These are typical examples of car ads from the early 60s. And, you know, illustrations, what's the, the basic element in ads uh, at that time. Uh, the illustrator was a very, very important person. And particularly in the car business, by illustrating a car, you, you can make it longer and bigger, and you can, you can lie more, uh, as opposed to a photo. A photo is a photo. And this is real in contrast to Krohn's Volkswagen campaign, particularly the first ad think small, think small in a country where everything should be big. And uh, Krohn himself, when he had done the first ads, he, he was doubtful whether, whether it was too simple. So he spoke of them as kindergarten ads. Then until afterwards he realized it was so right for this uh, little, ugly, simple German car not so far from uh, after the Second World War. You see this yet? I have. I don't know what I hate about it the most, the ad or the car. You know, they did one last year, same kind of smirk. Remember, think small? It was a half-page ad and a full-page buy. You could barely see the product. I don't get it. Elvis just got back from West Germany. Why not put him in it? They must be getting results. They keep going back to the well. I think Mad Men gives a very realistic picture of the 60s. Being an ad man, of course, I've been very much looking forward and heard a lot of his series and read about it in Advertising Age and so on, so I was really looking forward to see it. And uh, I, I've been a true uh, watcher of the series, so no doubt about it, I'm looking forward for the second part now. I really enjoy it.